Hello guys, it's me Brady again and I'm going to teach you guys how to make some binaural beats using a program called Audacity. So here we go, I just opened up um, Mozilla Firefox and we're going to go to the website audacity.sf.net or sourceforge.net, they're both the same. And we're going to choose Audacity 1.2.6 and we're going to download that. And for some reason it's not downloading right um, but that's what you want to download and then you want to go up to here <clears throat> once you've installed audacity you want to go up to here and you want to search for Nyquist and here we go Nyquist plugins second one and you just want to scroll down a little bit and there should be one called binaural tones with surf 2 so this is a file that you want to download now that link doesn't work so um... usually you're going to have to um... view it like uh... see where it says the view bittone 2 dot ny this is the file that you're gonna want so is what I do is I just right click and save that as and then just save it on the desktop all looks good and hopefully it save it and here we go it's on the desktop and so we'll go and we'll open up my computer and we'll go to local disk and then we will go to program files and we'll go to our audacity folder and then we'll go to um, plugins and then we will just move this bit tone right into here and I had to hit yes because um, I already had it installed so now we'll um, just open up audacity so here hold on let me find it here for uh, real quick and here is audacity let me resize it okay so here's audacity now that we got audacity opened and all we go to project and we do new stereo track which is right there and here's our stereo track for audacity now we go to generate and see there's this new option in here that says binaural tones with surf 2 we click that and now we can create our binaural tone and it gives you this little chart of um, the different binaural tone rates and stuff and hurt levels so I usually open up calculator once I get here so I'll just do calc okay here's calculator so let's say we want 201 here let's say let's say we're going for uh, the alpha waves that's it that's a good range so we'll choose maybe now we'll actually choose beta because that's where the normal human brain is usually around 18 hertz which is where I start off all my binaural beats so I'll choose something like 200 and then we'll subtract 18 and we'll get 182 so we'll do 200 up here then we'll do 182 and that's what it's going to start off with and then over here is where you set the duration so we'll play that for five minutes just to make sure that our brain's at that level. So we'll do five minutes. Then after the five minutes, we should make it go to maybe alpha, which we'll do 14 hertz. Sounds about right. So we'll do 200 minus 14. And that's 186. So we'll type in 186. And we'll do that for about two minutes and at this point it's reaching alpha and then we're gonna want it to to drop to theta and that'll just make you pretty tired which is which is pretty much what I want to do so we'll open up backup calculator and we'll go to 200 minus so oops 200 minus 7 enter okay so we'll do 193 so we'll input 193 in here and then over here we'll do uh, 10 minutes 
and then down here we'll just make it move a little bit lower make it move to about 5 hertz which sounds about good so we'll do 200 minus 5 we get 195 which is obvious so I'll type in 195 and then we'll make the duration 3 minutes and we'll make it last for 3 minutes and then we'll add all of these numbers together so 5 plus 2 6 and then uh, 6 plus 10 16 and then 16 17 18 okay so we'll make the total time 18 and here we go we got the surf all that set all those options should be good we'll hit ok it's gonna generate our tone which could take a while so uh... well i'll just sit here while um... it's generating the tone and um... we're gonna mix in some music with this uh... just to uh... to uh... you know i find it unpleasant to uh... listen to binaural beats without music so we're gonna mix in some music Okay, so here's the um, binaural beats. So now I'm gonna uh, go and open up my music folder. First of all, let me just uh, play it to show you guys that this is a binaural beat. Binaural beat, see that? Okay, so here's my music. And let's see, I'll go into iTunes. I believe I have some music in here. Jack Johnson, because I find him like relaxing his music. I'll choose it. F stop blues, it's sort of a relaxing song. Or importing importing the MP3 file. So here we go. It doesn't take up all of it, but that's fine since I'm just demoing this for you guys. I usually set the uh D B range up here on the um binaural beat to about negative fifteen. Then I just leave this right where it is. Oops. Okay, so now I'll play it and you guys can uh, hear how the binaural beat came out. My bad. Gotta start off from the beginning. <laughs> now you guys should be hearing some binaural beats, but you guys should be still hearing music on top of it. Which is um, what's cool about creating your own binaural beats. So yeah, that's pretty cool, and then you can just um, export it to a WAV file, and I'll just hit OK, save it as a WAV, we'll call it Binaural Beats, and it's just going to export it for us. And then if we want to convert it to an MP3 file, we can just convert it using iTunes, which is very easy. So here it is. Here's our uh, final copy. And uh, I find that better to listen to than um, regular binaural beats. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and um, later, guys.